Howdy, everybody. I don't know if you can tell, but the puppy's hungry. <laughs> Poor starving puppy. I know it's been, what, six hours since you've eaten. All right. Um, I decided to... Well, this is going to be about how I got my... How I got the solar power to heat my water. Um, and I know you're all thinking, oh, I probably got some big elaborate glass panel thing up here or whatever. But no, what I got, yeah, I gotta walk out there too far. But I got 10 panels up there on the roof. I don't know if you can see them or not. And before I brought the RV out here, I took it to a mechanic in town, supposedly so good. And I spent over $600 to get the a leak in my uh, propane system fixed because it wouldn't it'd take you know, a couple of days and I'd go through about a half a tank of propane. And I also had what they call an extendus day to put on there. I said, I want that put in while I'm here because that way I can hook up 20 pound bottles with the extended state, plug it in there, and I'd be able to drain it off of there rather than the onboard tank. So when this emptied out, I wouldn't have to drive the whole RV up to get propane. Well, because of the dipshit of the guy that I took it to, after two times, it still leaks. After two times of them working on them, I drove it up there once. Uh, that's when I spent the 620 bucks. Propane still wasn't leaking. It was still leaking. I had to drive it back from here all the way into town to get it fixed again. And I brought it out here, and when I plugged it in, it was still leaking. So screw it. So anyway, I was using a propane water heater. Was using a propane stove but in Anyway, here. to do the... Uh, solar hot water I had to get one of these electric conversion kits from my uh, LP tank um, so this does still work on propane but these wires go inside and plug into the solar panels so it is solar hot water uh, and what it was was one of these things um, uh, Camco hybrid heat your propane water heater to uh, electric water heater and you can use both with this setup you can use either or or both at the same time if you want hot water really fast uh, it was fairly easy to hook up the hard part was figuring out the different wires but uh, putting that in was fairly easy and the, the wires but then you got the switch in there and then you got the electrical cord and you got this you know the uh, thermostat there and so, I mean, it's not, oh yeah, just plug it into the wall and ready to go. But when it was all said and done, that was basically what I did, was plugged it into the wall. And now when I want hot water, I just got to flip a switch, let it run for as long as I want. It has the thermostat on there. I have it set for 120 degrees, but I'll probably never let it run that long. Um, if it takes an hour to heat up water, oh well. But, uh, yeah, trying to get it all set up. So the only thing I still have left that's going to use propane, and I can't get around that, is the uh, furnace, the propane furnace. The uh, LP furnacing I got there in the window. You can't quite see it, but it's there. Um, yeah, because I would require way more panels than I got to keep it warm enough in there for me. I got that. I also have a Mr. Buddy... Mr. Heater Buddy. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. Mr. Heater Buddy. Uh, I also have that big uh, DynaGlow propane tank. I'm going to do a thing on that one of these days. Um, yeah, that's how uh, I do solar hot water in the RV. And I said that it's solar for everything now. Uh, except on the really cloudy days. That's the only difference. When I wake up, if it's really cloudy, 
I can't turn on the electric stove to make my coffee. I have to turn on the, the propane, the uh, camp stove to make my coffee. Um, you know, same thing for dinner, I guess. Um, hey, Ruger. As I got to turn on the uh, camp stove versus you know, turning on the electric heater. Other than that, life is the exact same, regardless of whether it's cloudy or not. The refrigerator's running. I got the TV in there running. Batteries are charging up for radios and phones and computers and stuff like that. But, yep. Looking forward to another, should be a beautiful sunset with some of these clouds up in the sky to give some colorful reflections. Uh, my plan is, is when I build the cabin over there to, if I don't strip everything out of this RV to utilize a lot of the same ideas like the uh, solar hot water heater, you know, the hot plate for a cook stove. And uh, here's where I put the switch, right here in the bathroom. And it lights up when it's on, so you know that it's on. It's a nice bright light. Um, it does only take about uh, 400 watts to run this, so, and that's 400 watts an hour, so if I let it run for, you know, 45 minutes, that's 300 watts. That, uh, yep, another beautiful day on the uh, AZ off-grid, unplugged prepper RV ranch. <laughs> um, today was supposed to be like 98 degrees, I think. The last, probably, probably the last hot day of the summer, starting tomorrow, is supposed to be like in the mid 80s. Uh, and then October, the, the high starts out, the average high is 90. By the end of October, the average high is 80. So it drops 10 degrees during the month of October. So, yep, so expecting another gorgeous evening.